Good afternoon, my name's Carl Gwynn and welcome to my channel, Win with Gwynn RV Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Integra Quest 24R. I think you're going to love this, it's a special purchase. Today we're going to take a look at this Integra 24R. This is a coach that is a special purchase. We've got a wonderful price on this and I'm going to run through a few items on this. We're just taking a quick gander around the out exterior. Notice uh, this cap up top. This is a one piece cap that's been put on so we don't have any, any seams that uh, would develop a leak. Notice the automotive style glass up on the front of that cap and we'll talk more about that when we get inside. It is a special purchase. Uh, all Mercedes Sprinter pl platforms come with the Continental tires. This they've added the step getting into the vehicle. Side camera located right here. Power step comes out, you open that door, it automatically comes out. That can be turned on or off. One thing I really like about the Integra product, this has got a two-year limited warranty and a three-year structural from the factory. This is not an aftermarket warranty. This is a warranty from the manufacturer that built the coach. Coming through here, waterfall windows, love that. And down here below, uh, notice we've got a barbecue quick connect. That is where you would hook up a barbecue quick connect. Notice the lights automatically come on and in the compartments. <clears throat> This coach is a full-featured coach. These are not uh, hubcaps. This is the actual wheel. And I didn't point that out on the front, but they are on actual wheels, not hubcaps. <clears throat> Lights automatically come on inside the storage compartments when you open them. So if your hands are full, you're not searching for a light switch. And we do have the Truma AquaGo hot water system. This is one of the best hot water systems out on the market. <clears throat> you can select different settings from inside the coach or from outside. We do not have the, uh, the water reservoir connected at this point. That would be connected when whoever buys this coach. But coming around the back, uh, you notice a little window there. That's gonna be in the bathroom area. Uh, this is a full body paint coach with a fiberglass roof. Let me see if I can zoom in up there. And you can clearly see right above the awning there, that is a fiberglass roof right there. Coming around the driver's side, notice we don't have a lot of business going on. A lot of RVs have got a lot of ins and outs right here. This one basically shows us that we have, when that blue light is on, that tells us we do have power coming into the coach. Low point drain right here. And then of course, more storage along the way and our generator up in the front compartment right there. As we enter from the driver's side, you're gonna notice the fuel door for your diesel fuel is actually hidden and gets sealed by the door. So when that door is closed and locked, there is no way for this to open. So nobody can get into your diesel fuel. Now inside the coach, <clears throat> this is memory seat. So you've got three position memory seat. And if you notice, this is a picture of the seat. So if I press that forward, if I wanna raise that part, if I wanna do the recliner, let me turn here so you can see. So that comes all the way forward if we want to scoot our seat forward. So whichever way we move the seat diagram, including uh, heated seats. Now I don't have the coach in the on position. Let me get this chassis fired up here. So now when I press this, you're gonna see your, your heated seats are currently activated. And this coach does have voice recognition. Okay, Mercedes, please turn off my driver's heated seat. I'm switching off the seat heating. So there she goes. She turned off the heat seating. So here's your power, uh, power windows for both driver and passenger side. 
This would select what mirror I would like to control. And then you can just raise and lower and turn and automatic headlights. Remember, we did talk about those high performance LED lights. Here's my controls for the Mercedes Benz part of the vehicle. So I can go to the home screen. This is a little, I don't know if you can see the screen behind the steering wheel, how I'm moving things around. Let me see if I can hit some other stuff. Go to my main screen. There we go. See how I'm controlling that on the dash by just running my thumb across this little square. And that little square you can also push in and then it will make that selection right there. And then we can use that little square up and down, left and right. Now, on this side of the steering wheel, we've got volume controls and this square here will also control our 10.5 MBX Mercedes-Benz infotainment center. And this is a pinch screen. And what I mean by that is it is a touch screen. You can see we're currently located right there at Greenfield and the 202 freeway. And I can pinch and zoom. I can pull all the way out. Now let me get my fingers in here. So yeah, we can pull all the way out. There's the Phoenix area. Let me turn this back to level. So there's the entire Phoenix area. And you can see right there, we're located in Mesa, Arizona. Anyway, great, great system. Wonderful screen. Again, we can go through the phone. We don't have anything connected. Navigation radio let's just pop into the radio look at this look at all the different radio channels you've got in this thing go back media info so here's our info let me go back to this ah, functions not available unless it's running operators manual is located in the front part of the dash so we don't have paper manual any longer and there's some more apps in there. So you've got a web browser, smartphone is not connected. Push button start right here, you just press that. Now, as far as keys go, this is a key fob along with two other, three others. So we've got a total of four key fobs and a bunch of keys. We've got keys galore for this Mercedes-Benz product. Remember, I told you this was a special purchase coach but that does not mean that it is a coach that is missing any features. Okay, I just turned this coach on really quick. I wanted to show you the camera system here. The camera system's up and replacing the rearview mirror. So that's the coach right behind us. The reason you can see the red on here is I have got my brake lights on since I am running and inside of a closed garage. So I'm gonna turn that off. And to put the car in gear, it's manual. It's just putting it into reverse, putting it into drive, or pressing the end of the button to put it back into park. So, very, very simple. Now, do you see this little lever right here? This is the back of a paddle shifter. So here is a paddle shifter. Over here is negative paddle shifter. So I can knock this down a couple gears. I can raise that up a couple gears all by tapping right behind the steering wheel. Again, over here on the passenger seat, this does have also three position memory along with heated seat and voice recognition. Let me see if I can turn this back into the on position for a quick second. Okay, Mercedes, turn on my passenger's heated seat. So that will turn on the passenger's heated seat and to turn it back off, you say, okay, Mercedes turn off my passenger's heated seat. Climate control system, very, very easy to operate. This raises and lowers our temperature, so we can select a desired temperature. Let's call it 65 degrees. We can raise and lower the fan speed. Let's step outside here. I'll show you a couple little components under the uh, in the driver's compartment. Awesome, awesome headlights. They self-adjust every time you start the, start the vehicle, and they are LED high-performance lights. Under the hood of this 2023 Mercedes Sprinter, a couple of safety features. They have located the battery in under the driver's compartment. So here is our positive post for 
If I needed to jump start this, you turn that and it exposes the post. So you just press that in, hook up your jumper cables, and notice there's no battery up in here, but there is a post for the negative. So this is where your negative post would go. Here's where your positive post would go. And DEF fluid here. So DEF is just called diesel exhaust fluid. Uh, it's virtually harmless, it's not caustic. And that, that is a regulation for a diesel engine. By the way, you will burn 50 gallons of diesel fuel for every one gallon of DEF fluid. There's a side view awning fully extended. You're going to notice it is a Gerard awning with lights underneath mounted throughout from front to back. Let's go inside here and see what we have. Here is the interior and we've got two theater seats side by side. Those are reclining seats with a wireless charger right back behind. So there's our wireless charger. These tables that attach to this comes right across in front very easily. You can put a plate, you can eat right there, and that is directly across from the television. Television's located just in the center of the kitchen. Look at the counter space in this thing. For this size of RV, that's got awesome, awesome counter. And this does have a suburban spark ignition stovetop, which is propane driven. Uh, a lot of people like that. When this is down, you can set a uh, you, appliance on there. So you could set a toaster, a coffee pot, whatever. But what storage in a coach this size? Let's just take a peek here at a couple. There's our microwave stuff. This is stuff that we would put together. This is the, your touch-up paint for any of the paint colors on the exterior. You got a little stone chip, something that bothered you, which... Yeah, this is just great, great storage. Large sink. I'm going to put my hand right here so you can get an idea of the size of that. Very large sink. Driver's compartment here. And, of course, this is a sleeping area up top. That is our automotive glass that we talked about. And over here are going to be the controls. So this will operate. Here we got USB charging. We got regular charging. We've got some lights that turn on up here. And then, of course, let's close this so we don't have a beam of light coming in and waking us up in the morning. So there we go. Completely sealed. No light penetrating at all. And we're going to turn around and take another quick look at this floor plan real quick. Again, theater seats do recline. There is a little bit of storage down in here. The wireless charger up in the back and each table or each uh, recliner comes with this table so you can sit right there and eat. Of course there is a couch. You notice it has two pull-out storage underneath. I do have some things in there that we'll talk about in a moment. Let's see what's up here in the cupboards. So great space inside there. Notice they do use all metal and three metal hinges for a door that's maybe five times the size of my hand <clears throat> three metal hinges and a metal hinge that locks that uh, the tv does have a release that tv does open come away from the wall Let's see if i can do that with one hand there we go so you do have a little bit of storage back in there but i wanted to show you this comes out so far that if I were to sit up here in my driver or passenger seat and spin that seat into the house, spin this one to the house, put my table right there, which mounts right here into the floor, so I would be able to turn around. Let me just see here. Yeah, that TV comes all the way out and faces directly at the, t the chair that I'm currently sitting in. That is awesome. Love it. Well, there you go. When we don't have an oven, there we go. Convection oven right there in the upper left. So this microwave does function as a microwave and a convection oven since we do not have an oven down below. 
Here, let's take a quick look at this Norcold refrigerator. Notice we currently have it set up on gas. Uh, we can go to different settings. So right now I have it on automatic, so it's going to find its very best power source. And it's telling me that the plug-in power that we are currently plugged into here in our showroom is going to be the best source for this refrigerator-freezer combination. Now that freezer is big enough to, like I said, make some ice cubes, have some ice cream, and this refrigerator is big enough to carry food for a couple of people for a few days. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching that, uh, that video on the 24R. That's the Murphy bed floor plan, two theater seats side by side. This is a premium coach, but this is a special purchase coach that we made with Jayco. It's an Integra Quest 24R on the premium Mercedes Sprinter chassis with adaptive cruise control and lane departure. You're going to love the way this coach drives. For a Class B+, Plus, it's one of the best selling and the best price that I've got company-wide and throughout the United States and Canada.